being on the way, sitting down in front of your TV, Chromecasting up to your TV. Cause it's Sunday, it's the beard of the mo. Hello? Hello! Hello! What's going on? I'm going to save yourself the beard. And I'm Gio the mo. And welcome to another show here welcome. in the most spectacular place on Sunday afternoon. On at the, the internet. Church. On the at, internet. On the internet. It's at the church for people who go to church. It's after the bar for people who day drink. It's after you wake up for people who work on Saturdays. It's, it's after a lot of things, so it's comfortable. Welcome, Sit welcome, down, get ready. Welcome. Get ready. And Man. if you missed the live show, you could always catch it afterwards. Yeah. And remember, before we start this, start sharing. All your friends, they care about you. And you know what? Sharing is caring, so... Share! Yeah, we appreciate the support. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching Beard and Mo, and welcome to another show. How you been, man? How's your week? Great. Me and Gio spent the weekend together uh, with yeah. our wives. This past weekend with St. Augustine. Augustine. St. Augustine, Florida. If you haven't been, beautiful place. St. Augustine. We definitely recommend it. Thank you to the people. Thank you to Charlie's. Thank you for yeah. It was just yeah, so the freaking train, amazing. Tours, yeah, the people were nice. There was a hip hop cover band, and oh. it was white boy singing. I was like, what? Yo, yo, there was a tight hip hop cover band with a drummer and everything. A drummer, yeah. a guitarist, and then a rapper. And that dude was like, yo, he was doing like Snoop, and he was doing yeah. like Bruno Mars. Like he was yeah. just like, all it was all it was great. It was, it was great. It was, it was great. So yeah, we had a great time. But yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. We ready to get it on? Let's get into the week. What topic. we got? What we got on the dock? Man, you got a handkerchief? Handkerchief, nah. You don't have a handkerchief. Nah, I don't. Well, Brianna got a whole bunch of handkerchiefs. She got a whole bunch of handkerchiefs. Where? And hanging it off. Brianna was at the Met Gal this past week or weekend. Yeah, I'm we'll gonna put a picture up. I'm we'll gonna put a picture up. Uh, and, so yeah, the Met Gala happened this past, I guess, yeah, this past weekend. And Brianna, if you look at the picture, that will appear right here. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it there. And so, have you seen the fashion it, it seems like every time there's the Met Gala, so there's, okay, something, there's always someone that has something to talk about. You gotta have a, you gotta make a statement. Like, what is it? What, we're not fashion. Dude. I don't know. I'm not a fashion what guy. What is it that you gotta do? You gotta make a fashion statement. Like, how would a guy make a fashion statement? Because I don't hear guys making the statements. That's true. Dudes don't really take chances okay. and stuff. Maybe Kanye's shirt with the holes. But I think that's the last time yeah, I heard a guy. And then, and so we're putting up a picture of Rihanna, right? Which will appear. We'll put it right, right here. here. Yeah, put it right there. Okay, so what does that look like to you? Handkerchiefs! The whole thing. It looks like hats were taken, ripped apart, made into like this whole elaborate flower thing because it's supposed to be a rose. It doesn't look like a rose, Rihanna. <laughs> it looks like a bunch of handkerchiefs were given to you after someone. Bam! That's what I think it looks like. I think it looks like a bunch of handkerchiefs or a bunch of uh, 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 brims. Brim. Or rather the hats. Like they cut the like a like a muffin top and they cut the bottom part of the muffin. They cut the back part of the of the, of the hat and they just left <laughs> the brim. It looks like a bunch of brims, is what I'm saying. Bunch of brims. He's saying a bunch of handkerchiefs. Hankerchief. It's a bunch of handkerchief brims. Hankerchief. And the handkerchiefs have been used, so they stick. But what is going on with they that? Stick. She looks like know. she looks like a like a the Swiffer duster? <laughs> she's like, going to clean up the Met Gala. That's what like, it is. you say to like, the, she's going to be attracting lint. Because they don't no. show you at the end that the, the, when she leaves, she has a bunch of lint and like toilet paper and like like uh, candy wrappers on. Because <laughs> she attracted everything. You want to hear the most ridiculous part that what? I read? What? It took her an hour to get him to her shoes. Now, Rihanna, Riri, you sexiest mm, girl. Ow. Anyways, it took a what now? An hour to get into your shoes. Why? How does that work? It's it's these laces, and it was like this around her leg. That but it went shoes. all the way up. Oh, I saw a picture with her shoes. Man, but I'm saying that the, the, the dress like covered everything. Like, <laughs> well, there was a part that covered, and then when she went inside, like she opened up, and you saw her legs. What the so heck? the 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 cocoon, the cocoon and handkerchief opened up to his lace shoes. Which is kind of sexy. I like the shoes, Riri. Wee -wee. Mm, wee -wee. But, but man. Wee -wee. I, so wait, so when she put the shoes on, did someone help her? Wee -wee. I, I hope so. She had an assistant. Just be like, yeah, now you got money, you better have the yeah, assistant yeah. instead of taking an hour. Because I'm not she, she can't, herself. She can't reach over. She bent over, she's gonna mess up a dress. She might, yeah, she might split, she might split at the seam of her butt crack, but who will complain? But there was a lot of pain? craziness at that Met Gala, man. There yeah. was a, 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 a Chrissy Teigen, it's crazy. You're, you're so right, bro. You just made a good point that the man looks normal because John Legend yeah. is with her and he looked normal like a normal dude. It's a tuxedo. What? Like a tuxedo. What? Because dude. what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? It's Every standard day, penguin suit. On this show, we wear 
T-shirts. Yeah. That's it. It's a standard. It's a standard. That's a standard. Shoe. When you're a dude, there's not much like you can't attach handkerchiefs to your suit. Like you know what I mean? Like no. it's, it's standard. But with the women, like man, I don't understand why they have this urge to like stand out. But you know what? It's I mean, look at J Lo. She was like kapla, kapla, wow. This year. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, she went with Ava. Didn't she go with Ava? <laughs> yeah, that that loser. <laughs> Don't let me start on Ava. But okay, we're not gonna get started on Ava. He's he did not make our topic but wait, list. I didn't see. I didn't see what Jayla looked like. I'll pop it over here. It look. What what did Jayla look like? She had this dress. It was a like black, and it covered, you know, spots in the cover. Yeah. But you saw a lot of skin. But it was just like one of those. It's Jayla dresses. What? It, remember the, the green dress? Yeah, remember the, the, the This green? piece, the green dress. Oh, okay. So, you know, but it's J-Lo. It's, it's J-Lo, it's, so you, you expect, expect that. that. That's what but I'm saying. Riri, Riri, I guess she's part of that crew now. I would have expected her to come out in a Caribbean bikini. Yeah, yeah. Which means butt naked, but I wish. But I don't understand, man. <laughs> I just don't understand. Okay, if, if there's a fashion forward person watching this, can you explain to us like why the, the process, the mental process, or the concept I behind mean, all this? When I go shop, taking chances, like I mean, cause you don't see a person like that walking in the street. You no, know what I mean, like it's only at the mega. When I go shop, or I go shop to, to impress. You know, it's what is the guy thing? I don't go flashy. I go yo standard. If I gotta wear a button up, I wear a button up. But you know, not for not you. If I can wear a faja, I wear a faja, you know? <laughs> there are some dudes though, that take some chances. Like There's dudes that take some like chances. Like Russell Westbrook and your Cam Newton. But you're talking about uh, 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 you're talking about NBA. People stand out in the NBA. Look at, from the time from Rodman, yeah. Dennis Rodman was out. And like that took a trend, and that's a trend now. Everyone stands out and is flashing forward. Uh, um, some, not to all. stand up. But yeah, but you stand out, and they want to stand out because they want the sponsors. So I think um, that's a sponsor thing. That's just how you keep yourself relevant in the NBA because everyone scores. Everyone does, you know. Everyone scores. Everyone rebounds. Everyone assists. Right. What makes you stand out from CP3 and Westbrook? Westbrook fucking dresses weird. All right. Do you want to transition to that then? That's the transition. You brought up uh, CP3. CP3. So okay. What's the thing about CP3. So quick little sports yeah. segment. Sports segment. Uh, the Clippers have been eliminated. The dynasty okay. is over. So, uh, uh, there was no dynasty. What? It was just three guys no. trying to make a playoff. Because they never even made it to the conference finals. They never even made it to the Western Conference Horrible. finals. They never made it to the finals. Such talent. But it's like they have a lot of talent. They had DeAndre Jordan, JJ Reddick, Jamal Crawford, best six um, man to me in the fucking. Chris Paul, Jamal Crawford. Mad people, Doc Rivers, and they can never get over that hump. But you know what? You could, not for nothing, you could argue that, you know, Spurs, OKC at one point, and then the Golden State Warriors. But you can't argue that. that. No. I, I, you cannot argue that. No, no, but also, they were never healthy. They were never, they were they were never like, completely yeah, exactly. healthy. There was always some guy out. CP3 was out for the season. Uh, Blake Griffin punched the dude last year. Oh, he was wow. out, wow. and he was out at the end of the season. Uh-huh. When has Blake Griffin have, has ever been... Good through a freaking playoff. No, he's not. He's good, man. Net, no, I'm saying injury free through the playoff. No, no, no okay. Yeah, there it, was never a he's time. He's never had a, 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 a clean season. I don't think he's had a, a complete season. No. As a matter of fact, his first year, his rookie season, he, he got he, injured. He blew out his knee. So. so, when has Blake Griffin ever been? He has. Good. So, you know, and, and, and that's fine. But but that's it sucks because you watch that team and you're like, wow, there's so much talent, so much potential. And what's going to happen now is that now all the contracts are up. So there's no you way. You know what's gonna happen now. No, they're, they're, they're all going up, to the Knicks. Blow up the team. They're all going to the Knicks. And you know who the Knicks are gonna pick? I bet you they're gonna pick CP3 because the Knicks have a knack for always going for the guy that gets old on the way out of his prime. They always catch the guy at the end and they get excited. Oh, we got CP3 and he's almost you know 30 something years old. We had Derrick so, Rose. Oh my God, he still has. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, guys, so like, anyway, let's get over. But, but I think honestly, I personally think CP3 is past his prime. And he's good, but I think that ship is sailed. Do you think? Do you think they're gonna keep Doc Rivers? I don't know. They probably gonna have to uh, what do you call it? Clear house, clean house, and have to rebuild from scratch. So, I saw a little chart, and it showed um. Blake, Blake, Blake. Happy birthday, Blake! You have a good one. Everyone say happy birthday. Happy birthday! Blake. We're playing Dude. zone. We're it's playing not, zone. It's not his fault. It's, it's his knees. His knees are horrible. Hey, it's Chris! Stuff. Chris! Chris! Pick up the pace, Chris! Chris, stop Come making, on. stop making State Farm commercials. Stop falling. DeAndre, 
Catch that ball! Alley oop! Lob, Lob City! Hey son! <laughs> play for this! Play guy. for once! I wonder what's gonna happen to this Play life. for once! He's, he's, he's still on the team. The yes. thing is, with this team, they have uh, they're tied up $32 million. They're tied up. Mm, and one of them is, is Austin Rivers. Yeah. But if they keep the entire team, they're gonna be fifty million negative. They have to pay 150, 150 million in, in, in luxury taxes, taxes. taxes, so it's not going to be valuable it's for the not. Clippers to come in and take everyone else. It's not even if they have CP3, where they have the so money to come back. If you're a Clippers fan, if you're a Clippers fan, comment down below how you feel about your team, and you, and it's done. You're done. You're, you're done. done. So the so, next will be better next and year. And it sucks because be the, better Clip, than you. the Clippers have never gotten a good like they. I don't. I'm not sure. They this is the better. first time they had a great team. It's like, exactly because they always suck. They were always the butt of the joke. Yeah. And now it's switched with that. Now Lakers. That, yeah, Lakers. The Lakers. But now the club. Lakers are on the come up because they got Magic Johnson now. Yeah. As, as as a president, and now so now the Clippers are imploding. Ah, it's a mess. But anyway, that's your transition. You touched on like you know uh, CP3 getting old. Vince you Carter. You thought CP3 getting old. Ah, yeah, he, in my opinion, he's getting old. And Vince, Vince Carter. He's, he's actually for two more. He's 40 years old, and he said he's going to play for two more years. Two more? And Can I, you believe that? Yeah. Vince Carter was dunking when I was in eighth grade. In high school, I'm not telling you grade. my age. That's great. So that's got to be 95, 96, right? Yo, he's, yo, 96. Yeah, 95, 96. 97, because, 98. Okay, so Kobe won 96 slam dunk. Ah oh, man, we should have researched this, but I think Vince Carter won before Kobe, because Kobe did the under the leg dunk, yeah. but Vince did it before him. Before him, so and I want to see that's 94, 95. Yeah. So think about that. That's over 20 years he's been he's been playing. Yo, he has a whole and bunch he's of doing season. good. Yeah, he's, he's been all over the place. He's putting his numbers up, so that's great. I mean, I, if you can still put your numbers up and playing this in, 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 at his age, yeah. yo, go for it. Why not? I love when I got to see him play for the Magic because he was here for a couple of years. I I got to see him on a regular basis, and he's from Daytona. Uh, he's from Daytona Beach. I loved it when he was on the Knicks. Yeah, he wasn't on the Knicks. He was on the Nets. Shh. Anyway, man, you confused me. <laughs> he was on the Nets, the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies. He was in Toronto. Toronto he was on the Grizzlies. He started Toronto. He's on the Grizzlies now. Oh, pfft. oh, I'm thinking about Grizzly. Ah, ah. I'm thinking about Grizzlies back in the '90s. Not a little bear. Nah, he started Toronto. He started Toronto. The Nets. Then he went to the Nets with Jason Kidd. Then he went to the Magic. That was a short stint. I think he did for like two. Or three I think he years. stopped somewhere else there somewhere, but then and then he ended up. He went to uh, Dallas. Dallas, yes, you're right, yeah. you're correct. He went to that, then he Dallas, ended up and then he went with that. Anyway, he, he, he with Memphis, so. But he gonna, he's not going to stop until he, they, they tell him, you'll get the fuck, get, yeah, get out, get out. Yeah, because he's played good, though. He's going to be 50. Hey, that's the ball. Hey, I got it. Yo, because now, nah, but like he played like postseason, and he played like the regular season, and wait, no, he's they're, 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 they're eliminated. Oh, they're yeah, eliminated. eliminated. Chris, Chris is out. Yeah. But, Oh, excuse me, but he pay, he plays good. Like he does, like his his duty. You know what I mean? Like he's he play, still putting up numbers. He put up numbers. Like I remember the oldest dude before him was Jawan Howard. Jawan Howard was like 44 <laughs> years old. But Jawan Howard would get no minutes. Like he played yeah. with the with the Miami Heat at the end. Yeah. And and he would get like nothing. Hey, pass the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He'd be like, you know, yeah. oh. you know what position he played? He, Half forward. He plays left bench. <laughs> so so <laughs> he was always on the bench. And he was like a cheerleader, but he yeah. never played. But this is still playing though. That's crazy. Yo, if you put up points, you stay in the team. When I see that though, I, That's got, I, I gotta think about a couple of things. I start thinking, do they got some bills, or they got baby mamas, or you know what I mean? Or they just have a love for the game. You could, you could say I, 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 I want to say, but like sometimes I want to say it's for the love of the game. Cause I've never heard like you hear all these other players, all the baby like oh. Baby mama drama here, baby yeah. mama drama there. You don't hear yeah. that from Vince Carter. That's true. But remember, like, like there's people that boxers do that. Like, boxers will come yeah. and get that last check because uh, they got um, bills. Trin what's his name? Trinidad. Hopkins. It's Hopkins Trinidad. And Trinidad. Yeah. Trinidad had, like, a bunch of babies and baby mamas all over Puerto Rico. Well, put it on out. And he well, came oh, no, back. He and came he back at the end. And, and he, he got murdered. Dude, he obliterated his career at the end. He got but, murdered. But I think you could, clearly you could see he was doing that for the check. Yeah. And it's so messed up because, like, he has such a good promise in his career, but... Anyway, but it, this is so funny because I see this Carter now and I'm like, what are you, dude, you could totally retire, but baby was like, nah, I gotta pay that bill. Yeah, I, pay, I gotta pay that child support. I gotta pay that house off. That child support coming through, that but shit kill me. I wonder, I wonder what it is. My driver license is spending now, I gotta out, get an Uber. But shout out to Vince Carter because he's one of the last people left from that, from that old that Very. class. Is, is he? 
Isn't from that, that the from, final? From that Kobe class. Think about it. He played with Kobe. He played with Iverson. He played with Shaq. He played. All them dudes is retired, bro. Except for Nick, uh, uh, Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd's a, a. Jason Kidd's a coach. Co uh, but he retired. A coach. But coaches. I mean, Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd played a long time, too. And he, but he's done, too. Did he play with Doc Rivers? No. No. What? Oh. You're trying I'm to make, making a fun of this joke. joke. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Doc Rivers played. I got a Doc Rivers like you. You were you, you were you were alive when Doc Rivers was playing. Oh, okay. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> you were alive. Oh, that's good. Moving on. You know, you know. Moving you, on. How many Larry Bird games have you been to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Moving on. Next topic. Moving on to Larry Bird. No, the next topic. Larry Bird hacking Netflix. No. Next next topic is Netflix being hacked. Netflix is being held against his will. Yeah. So for this whole Bitcoin bullshit, what's his name? So okay. Dark Orville. So Overlord. this hacking, you know, uh, 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 team, whatever, approached Netflix. This is in January, December. Apparently, this is the ongoing case. They threatened Netflix. They said, "Listen, we've hacked into your database, and we stole a lot of episodes." They released the episodes. They released ten they released, of thirteen episodes. They released ten of thirteen episodes. All over. It's all online, and it's all like good quality, legit. I saw. I saw the first one. Yeah, and I looked at it. I because, saw the first few minutes. I was like, "Whoa!" Usually, Orange is the new. We're talking about Orange is the new black. Orange is yeah. the new black doesn't get released usually till June. Uh, so, I think July. We're talking about June, July, summertime. Yeah. So, so obviously they released it beforehand. And man, like, and then go to find out. You go, you, you tell me the amount that they asked for. They asked for. Hold on, let's, let's put it's this in perspective. 50, it's fifty Bitcoin. Fifty Bitcoin. So what happens with Bitcoin? Like Bitcoin is like a stock exchange. The rate changes. So on, on, yeah, it's between like around forty, fifty thousand dollars that they were asking for, which is ridiculous. Now look, see, Donna, there's that crux. So right yeah, there but it, you you can do it because you don't want your season. But are, are we gonna give in to? The so dark terrorism, overlord. Terrorism or, 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 yeah. or threats. Cause, so yeah, because it's technically it's cyber, it's terrorism, cyber, cyber terrorism. And now that this guy, Dark Overlord, says... um, He tweeted out. This is just the beginning. Yeah, he says, just the beginning. He goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, next next on the list is NBC, uh, ABC, Fox, Nat Geo, IFC. Uh, oh, what fun we're going to have. Now, what, what are so, your feelings about him going to these different companies? And actually, actually okay. holding people to ransom, bro. Okay, the well, reason, what's your feeling? Well, what, 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 first what's, of all, what's, 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 first of all, the reason why you're a tech guy. okay, the re I, I'm a tech guy. I'm an IT guy. So the reason why he's doing that, first of all, is number one, he has access to all that stuff. Yeah. So right now, if I was those companies, uh, here's what you do. Here's what is my opinion. You pay the ransom because the ransom is a fraction, fraction of what's going to cost you in the long term. Yeah. Because now it's going to cost them millions and billions of dollars. Compared to the forty thousand and fifty thousand dollars they were asking for, and then what he's doing, what they're doing is they're making a point of the fact that their cybersecurity is is very lax. But yeah, so they, they have to tighten up the security. So in other words, you you pay the ransom and then you you tighten up the security and you don't get leaked. Or you do the other way around. You don't say I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cut uh, cave, cave to terrorists. We don't negotiate with that. terrorists. They cost you way more than fifty thousand dollars, and then you still have to tighten up your security. So you know what? I think it was what projected. happens is, is you messed up. You messed up. Yeah, I think it was projected that at least a million subscribers to Netflix were not going to resubscribe because they were truly they just subscribed to that show. Right, and you know, and, you know, that's all speculation. It's stupid, but you yeah, you can't quantify that. But yeah, but at the end of the day, if you're Netflix. The point is that they're gonna find loopholes in your security. So what you need to do is you need to spend a good shit, a good amount of money, good shit amount to, of money. a good shit amount of money <laughs> to get your 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 cybersecurity, your network, and everything secure, right? And that's what they're telling you. You gotta do that regardless. So you know what? It's almost like you should thank them for pointing out those securities or vulnerabilities. Because what happens is you get careless when you can become a big company and nothing happens to you. You become careless. Careless. And you're like, oh, it's not gonna happen okay. to me. I'm gonna have a beard moment right now. Go ahead. I'm gonna have a beard moment. Listen, Hillary, Hillary Clinton should hire the Dark Overlord and yeah. unleak her emails. So unleak. <laughs> so you're trying to say that Netflix had an AOL email account? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At a private server. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but I mean, nah, but, look, I, I don't condone pain, but but if you if you do the logic, the, the math, the, the math and the logic, it yeah. makes sense because they're kind of helping you out in a way because now they're pointing out those vulnerabilities. But see, 
I, that, I, that actually I, happens I, in real life. I agree with you. I do. I, I agree with you. And they should have paid the millions they're gonna lose, supposedly. God knows how much. How much? They should pay off the dude, this dark overlord dude. Pay him off. Yeah. Let him make, let him make his money and, and, and follow or trace it. However you can trace it, they have to find a way to trace that shit. But then take a million dollars and spend it on your cybersecurity. Right. Because there's no way that one guy, that's, I, I find this literally impossible that one guy is in his fucking basement with yeah, it's not porn, no, porn no, no. on one TV, no. Netflix on one thing, Fox and all these other things, hacking his it's fucking, not one guy. typing away, it's not one probably guy. like this, yeah. you know? <laughs> um, and it's, I, I see it physically impossible that you're gonna let one guy terrorize everything. Well, first of all, it's not and one it, guy. It's a team. It's, a, it's like if you watch Mr. Robot, it's a team. It's like a, a team. team of people. It's like a crew. That's even weirder because then, then that means there's five guys in a room doing this, and this. That's, I, I don't. I don't comprehend that. But the point is that Netflix is. You don't know where to go from there. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you watch Mr. Robot, your, your, your whole yeah, view, your view my, will change. My, 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 I've seen Mr. Robot, uh, two episodes. <laughs> and and I, I've seen hacker movies and I wanted to do... Uh, so I don't know whether you see them doing this. And one movie, there was one guy doing this. I don't know, that's not a hacker movie. Well, to, to, to have the idea, to, for me, if you're gonna hack something, Go to fucking Fort Knox, do something electric, do something crazy. Okay. Why hold these people up to rent? Well, first of all, first of all, these hackers, okay, you, you made a good point. This is only one of their many different scams. Scams, okay? And also, I, mean, I hope they're not watching this. But, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not bad mouthing them because I'm not like bad mouthing them, they, but they're, 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 they are kind of doing them a favor. Yeah. But at the same time, they say Dark Overlord, they might also operate under the different names, different monikers. That's true, true. I never thing, thought about man. that. And with Bitcoin, Bitcoin, you can't, you can't track that. It's all encrypted, okay. it's all anonymous. So there's a lot of stuff to that, man. So, so yeah, you're right. But, but what happens is, is it's a big, I mean, you know, I'm an IT guy, so I kind of know a little bit of, a lot about it. But, <laughs> This day you're gonna get out of target me because I went like this. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get your so, shit hacked. Hey, I need ten bitcoins. <laughs> I hope you got fifty thousand dollars. I ain't got shit, but <laughs> you're gonna but, get an uh, IOU. <laughs> but I just I don't know. It's funny because apparently Netflix knew about this situation beforehand. They didn't and, do nothing about it. And they didn't do nothing about it. They didn't oh it. man, and Netflix is your fault. And yeah, Netflix like 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 they were almost like calling them the bluff. Yeah, calling the bluff because now. At this point, Netflix is on top. Netflix yeah. is on top of this whole streaming game. Amazon's coming for them. HBO's Hulu's coming for them. Hulu's knocking on the door. They're all coming from. They're all going to start making their own exclusive studios, exclusive content. But but you what, have it's this. stuff like this sometimes, man, that you can't recover from. So you have to be very careful. If I was Netflix, I'd be very careful. Well, see, Orange is the New Black kind of fell off last season, so I don't really know why they went after that yeah, one. They still, the Defenders they still, is coming out in August. I would have if, if he would have gone for that one. But who knows? You know what I mean? Well, exactly. Like, like, and they're, they're still doing good because they also have um, Stranger Things. They have Stranger Things Two coming. Like they they're doing great. But right Small now, Crime is a great movie. If you want to see one. And but 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 man, I don't know. I just if I was if I was Netflix, I would be careful. I would tread lightly. Not just lightly. I would I would beef up my security so much. Right, because these dudes, man. That, you know, these dudes don't play around. No, they man. don't. They don't play around, and you know, that's foretelling of. I could I could imagine my other side. Uh, I want the uh, fifty bitcoins. <laughs> what are they? Fifty bitcoins. The Russian? I think. <laughs> I don't know what accent you're doing. I think. But uh, yeah. Snack for the smack for. <laughs> yeah, 50 Bitcoin, man. So, 50 Bitcoin. It, it just blows my mind that all of this was over $43,000. You know what that tells me? But the, going back to, the, to what we were talking about, you know it's, what that tells me? What? It wasn't about the money, bro. It's not about the money. Because they could have totally about, asked for a ridiculous amount of money. It's They could have asked for a half a million or a million yeah. dollars, and Netflix got that money. But, and then 43000 is nothing compared. No. So, you know what they're doing? They're making a point. That they can do it to just pay them. So it's like you, we're yeah, going but, to the but, payroll. But what happens is, man, Yo, dude, a I lot of times it's not about money. Here, here. These, guys, these guys, you know how much, these guys make money uh, uh, so many different ways. Yeah. So, th like, like when they're saying about ABC, M NBC, IFC, whatever, uh, 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 Fox, you're next, 
they're trying to make a point. They have what's called white hat hackers and black hat hackers. And sometimes these these act, these hackers are like activists. Yeah. So they're like, yo, you need to tighten up your shit, and you need to be not careless. Here is. So they're more diplomatic. Here is my point on these hackers. Uh, Dark Overlord, the whole this whole group. They should fucking instead of holding up these people with ransom for chump change. Yeah. And, and in reality, if you look at the whole industry, it's really chump change. Yeah. You should go and do what you did now and say, hey, for X amount of money, how much was it? It says 50, 40, it came up to like 43,000, 68,000 Bitcoin, uh, US dollars. For a small percentage, $1.5 million, your company, and he can go to Fox, he can go to CBS, he can go to all your company, ask for a ridiculous amount of money, to secure their system. These guys can do it. These guys can make buku money, but I feel but like they're, they're at home it's not about doing, money. doing this. It's not about money. But still, I think, I think at the end of the day, it's about, I think it's about money. It's about, no, man, these guys are really political. These guys are real political. They, so they, 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 so they, they, they're fine. Trump's they uh, do. Where do you think these things come from? These these, these controversies well, about the hacking and the Russian and the, and, not, and not the that, voting. Not that. I want, I want to, if they can hack, find me Trump's 2016 How did, how did Hillary Clinton's thing leak? This is because all of that, because of Trump. Nah, but this is, but how? It's all hackers, bro. It, it's all hackers. So 50, the point is, they're all points. about making making points because they don't they don't need forty three thousand. How you say? How you say no in Russian again? Bitcoin. What? Bitcoin. You can't. Bitcoin is not in Russian. No, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know Russian. Yeah. Nah, bro. Nah. I'm not making fun of Russians. Nice. But anyway, so. That's German. So Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. but but again, like if you do your research, you'll find out that these guys they stand for other things and they stand for d diplomacy and all these different things that they're trying to show the big corporation. They, and, and, I know, but if you want to show, I mean, they can they can make money though. They can Not, take. They, they, can they take, have money. They can monopolize. They have money. It takes money to do this. They have money, bro. I think they're saving, a lot of the time they're just trying to make a point. I think they're saving money to find Trump's twenty sixteen tax return. Yeah. But, <laughs> Uh, it's just, it's just a it's sad ridiculous. Trip. Because remember, there was that hack in 2014 when they saw so the Sony thing. What, what they Sony. hacked? They hacked the Sony emails and they leaked stuff about Will Smith, the yeah. stuff about Angelina Jolie, and all the producers saying this and then that. It was a big thing. And then they had uh, 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 Paris Hilton, Paris Hilton, the iCloud hack, yep. and all these new photos. The photos, uh, people, the new photos were a whole big thing for a while. Yeah, there's all these hacks, man. So you gotta be careful, man. Don't be careless. So. But hold on, I think some of those girls did it on purpose. Well, whatever. The point is, Dina they Guerrero. I know you did that on purpose. First, sending all, me stuff. first of all, they had those photos out there, so I mean, that's no yeah, more. It's like, it's like if that's they thought the guy they sent it to wasn't sharing it with their friends, they're fucking wrong. Right. So, with that being said, is this it, Friday, is it the end? I don't know. We've been recording for like. Yeah, we started at. Well, go ahead. Okay, this Cinco, Friday. Cinco. This Friday is Cinco de Mayo. What is it? Mayo de Cinco. Mayo de Cinco. Cinco de Mayo. Be careful out there, people. Celebrate, have a good time, but be careful and, and just have a great time and be safe. Uber, okay. Uber, Uber. Uber. And in pure Cinco de Mayo fashion, fashion. we're going to end our show. Are we ending it? No, no, well, first of all, we're going to, uh, I thought we were going to talk about Cinco de Mayo. Oh, we're going to talk about Cinco de Mayo, okay. Well, okay, real quick. For those who know, Cancel. Cinco de Mayo is, chime down below in the comments. Yeah, if you like Cinco de Mayo, chime down below in the comments, and but let's talk what about Cinco de Mayo. About, but people think that Cinco de Mayo, Cinco de Mayo is not Mexican It's not Mexican Day. Independence Day. It's, it's a celebration. It's not when the Mexicans came to <laughs> independence themselves. No way. It's about... Uh, the celebration of a war. They had a victory over. I don't know. I don't but know. But it issue. wasn't know, really the independence. They I, just exactly. won. They didn't it's win not nothing. Mexican independence Day. They lost. So you learn something new every day. This is an educational show. We have people. California. We have Phoenix. This is an educational show. We have everything show. on the border. In the border. In the border. They they didn't win nothing. They lost <laughs> greatly. Canceled the war. They won. They lost bigly. Bigly. We're gonna cancel the wall. But Cinco de Mayo is basically nothing. It's a day. It is. It's a Mexicans celebration. do not celebrate it. It's no one was. 
they, okay, they it's don't celebrate. It, they don't celebrate as much as Americans do, but it it, it stands for a it stands for a victory, <laughs> a war victory. You know, I should have done the, 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 the uh, it's okay. Research. You know what I think it really is? Single the mile is a day that everyone can sneak into the border because everyone is gonna have Mexican hats. So the Mexicans that come into the border are gonna fucking blend in. It's like St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day is yeah, Irish. all Irish. And, and Mexican and Day. It's a Mexican Day. Mexican, Mexican, Mexican Mayo. Mayo. So everybody has tequila, margaritas, and Coronas, and Dos Equis. That's it. And that's it. So it is a ploy for retail stores. For us to buy more beer. Not like that we don't drink enough already. We're gonna make a but, day to think, drink some more. I think American <laughs> culture, we look for a reason to drink. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> It's, like, it's like Dominicans and Puerto Ricans. You know. It's your birthday? Fiesta. It's Taco Tuesday. It's <laughs> Fiesta. Know, Friday, whatever. You know, so. Taco yeah. Tuesday, Throwback Thursdays. There's people who drink on Throwback Thursdays. Y'all remember when I used to drink like 89 bananas? Throwback Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Man. So it's just one of those damn ploys, bro. But hey, celebrate. Have a good time. Be safe. Uber. Uber, yo, listen, Uber, Uber costs a lot, uh, just a couple dollars, and even if it's 20 or 30 dollars, that's a lot cheaper than a DUI. Yeah. You know what a DUI costs? A lot. A license. A lot of money. And then if you remember how to get your license, you can't get it afterwards. Yeah, it's thousands of dollars. Thousands. For DUI. So, just think about that. Anyway, thousands shout, of out, dollars. shout out to, shout out to, uh, to everybody celebrating. It's cheaper, it's more expensive than Gio's haircut. Yeah, because I need transplant. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you hit that before I did. <laughs> Yo, we it's the out. beer. It's Save Yourself the Beer. And you're the mole. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. It's a social media network, so please share in this caring. Share to all your friends because we want to see all of you. All of you. All of you. Share. Here. Thank you very much. I'm the beer thank and the mole. Support. And we'll catch y'all later. You. Catch y'all later. To rub. Cocoa butter. I, let me stop. Peace. <laughs> Bye.